Hey guys, it's Danny with Boss C351 Productions. Today we have something a little different. We've got a add-on for our Ford F-150 EcoBoost. And you can see that I have a K&N cold air intake installed on my truck. And with this intake, it comes with a K&N filter. I've also modified this just a little bit to seal against the hood a little bit better. I put some thicker weather stripping on the box and I sealed the corners up so it'll fit better against the hood. This keeps it from sucking in hot air and other material may be floating around in the engine bay. But one of the main problems I have with this filter is, look closely, it's full of bug guts and material. Now this not only affects our filtration, it also affects our airflow. And I've got something to fix that. Next thing you're going to have to do That's not worth paying the kind of money I did. I've got the filter out and I'm banging on the ground. Look at all the stuff that comes out. Our EcoBoost engines are like a giant vacuum cleaner. You have two turbos sucking in air as hard as it can. It sucks in air and everything else with it. We're going to have to try to alleviate this problem, or we're going to do it with what I have up next. I'm going to go ahead and clean this filter up with the filter charger, let it dry a little bit, re oil it, and then we'll continue. What I have is a high flow pre filter from the people at Filterwares. What this does, this goes over your air filter and it filtrates the air and anything that's bigger than five thousandths of an inch, it'll keep it from going in your filter. Now this will help greatly in cleaning the filter after it is used. Uh, if you like me, you know, when you go to clean the filter, you have to dig in and get the bug guts and the little pieces out while you're cleaning the filter. Overall, this will help out. It is also made of a water repellent material that will help keep moisture from entering in your engine. They also come in a variety of colors and sizes. Check my link down below in the description section where you'll be able to go and search out the correct Filterware's high flow pre-filter for your application. Now to install it, remove it from its package, unfold it, You'll see it'll have an opening. Just take your filter, slide it over your filter, and it should be form fitting for the filter that you selected. I think this is a great idea, and I would highly suggest everyone try it. Right now would also be a good time to go ahead and clean out your filter box. You don't want to redeposit some of this garbage in here on the filter right after you clean it. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe it out and then I'm going to vacuum it out. I would suggest using either simple green crud cutter or you can use purple power.
wash it out. trusty shot back and we're going to vacuum it out. the rest of it out with a rag make sure it's good and dry I've got the filter installed back in the truck and we now have a nice new addition that matches or almost matches the color of the truck this is Daniel with Boss C351 Productions I thank you for watching my videos any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. And remember, check my comment section for the link to where you can get your filter wares high flow pre-filter. Again, thank you for watching my videos.